So let us learn about settings in this video. So here's the emulator that I'm going to use to explain this video. If you're interested in downloading this emulator, you can click on the above link to know how to download this emulator. So let me quickly go into one of the app and then, you know, where is the setup? Setup is in yellow. So we'll put shift and menu to go into setup. And then you can see there are some options. First option is very important, input and output. And if you push into one, we have some more options like math input, math output, math input, decimal output, line input, line output, and the fourth one. So let me explain one by one what is this. So if I select math input, math output, okay, and I calculate, uh, let's say 250 divided by six, okay, so you see, uh, you are getting your answer in decimal. That is what math output is, okay. What is math input? So basically when you use something called integration, you see this uh, exactly the way it is in your textbook, that is math input. So if you type in like sine of x from let's say zero until one, and then you get the value. So you get, you, you use uh, the mathematical portion while entering an expression and you get mathematical expression while you in terms of fraction that is math output if i do the same calculation when i am in let me change it to math input and decimal output and if i do the same problem now 250 over 6 this time it will give you answer in decimal right though you could quickly change it to decimal using this s and d button but if you would always like to get your answer in decimal always do math input and decimal output let's go to the third so one and line input line output so what happens in line input line output if you type a small let's say two times three equals to six four times five equals twenty you can see now this entire screen is split into four lines earlier there were two lines only right let me just quickly do it in math input math output two times three Six. See, now the moment you solve another thing, the previous expression is gone. So if you want to retain your previous expression, you can always do the settings like line input, line output. And line input, decimal output is again like it will give you answer in decimal. Okay, so that is your first settings. Depending on the requirement, you can do it. You can choose the way. Angle unit. So you have degree, radian and gradient you can use it as per the requirement so if i say let's say i would like to do it in degree and i would like to find out sine of 30 degree basically answer is 1 over 2 but here if you would like to find out sine of pi over 6 just for instance right that is also equal to 30 degree that but it won't give you 1 over 2 because currently the angle setting is in degree so you would like to change it to radian you'll go to setup radian and let us do the same calculation again and see sine pi over 6 is 1 over 2 and your angle is always shown on the top of the display let's see what else is there number format so you have fixed scientific and normal if you want to fix any decimal point if you want to put it in scientific so let's say if you go to fix and let's say you said three so what happens every calculation so 100 divided by three so basically answers will be 33.3333333 right but because you have fixed up to three decimal the answer would be only 33.333 let's see once again let's check out scientific and uh, let's say two let's do the same calculation once again okay and you see 3.3 .3 into 10 raised to the power 1 so it gives you answer in scientific format and if you want to just make it normal you see 3 normal and it would give you that way right at any point of time if you do something wrong you can always reset using shift and 9 to reset it so just for instance, I'm going to initialize all this for instance, and I'll again go back to continue to talk about my other settings. 
All right, so number format, and then you have engineering symbol. You want to keep it on or off? It's up to you. So that's uh, okay. We have more settings there. Faction digital. You want to get it in A, B over C, or D over C. So you understand that that's a mixed faction and a normal faction. If I would like to quickly show you, so let's say 22 over 3, if I divide it, it should be 7, 1 over 3. Yep, see, if it was the normal condition, let me just quickly change it. Fraction is, uh, I'll make it 2, and I do the same calculation again, it will be 22 over 3. Or after, you know, uh, any possible uh, elimination. Let's check out some more so complex. Number two, what kind of complex calculation you want to do? A plus BI or R plus theta, polar, format, whatever you want to do it, you can always change the settings from here. Then let's see in statistics, frequency on or off. I hope you know while you just, okay, so let me just go to statistics for a while, okay, and one very good statistics. You can see you have the observations and you have frequency. It is on just because you turned it on. By default, the frequency is off, right? If you turn it off, you see the frequency is gone. So please turn it on as per the requirement. Okay, then what else is there? Spreadsheet. Then you have auto calculation and show sales like the way you have in Microsoft Excel. It's quite simple. Needless to explain. Then we have equation function. Some setting for equation function, whether you want a complex result or not. So you are solving a quadratic equation and it has a, an imaginary root, whether you would like to display it or not. You can always do it from, do it from here. Yes, you always have to go back and forth. Table number two, fx, you want to deal only with one function or you want to deal with two function that is available there. Then, yep, I just realized that you can just press left to go back to the previous command. Then decimal mark number three, you want to have a dot or comma. So we normally use dot, but if you would like to use comma, then you can do it like this and you see this would prompt in comma so it is not 233 it is 2 decimal 33 all right let me see what else is there digit separator the digit separator you want to keep it on or off the moment you keep it on all the digit separators would be used there not here but if you're doing some calculation here let's say two three five six eight nine this for instance and you can see the gap between them, that is what the digit separator is. Okay, let's see what else is there. Multi-line font, QR code and contrast. These are last three settings and let me just quickly explain that. Multi-line font is what? Normal font and small font. You remember just a while ago while we, you know, uh, you, we did uh, this setting. Input, output. When you do input output and go into line in line output, the screen becomes four line display, right? So if you, what do you do here? If you change this multi line font to a small font and again go there and change the input output to line input line output, your screen would be divided in three lines now. So two times three, five times nine or sign of just for instance whatever the angle you can see you can see at one point of time you can see four cal three calculations and three answers so that is something very useful so you'll have to do two steps to get it done and then you have QR code so you want to use version 3 or version 11 please use the latest version otherwise you might have problem understanding QR code I'm sure you know how to use QR code if not you can I have given the link at the top, you can click to know how to use QR code and that is phenomenal. That is one of the best part of about ClassWiz. And then contrast as there is nothing to explain about this. Hope 
you understand how to use the calculator, how to do the necessary settings, always remember before you go into the examination, please do reset your calculator, else it might create some problem for you. So I'll initialize all, I'll say equals to yes, and this is done. And when it is done, it brings back to your degree and normal math input, math output format for the calculus. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe the channel for our future videos. We have a dedicated playlist for uh, class risk calculator. Please check out that. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.